Hey guys, Zalonius here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, we are going to be showing you the latest promo that has just come out. Make your mark. So, three potential upgrades. One, if they make their first appearance of the tournament, they get chemistry boost. That's similar to the Path to Glory. I think they get like at least two chemistry themselves. It helps build your team a bit easier. Two, the second upgrade, if they get two goals or assists, they get a plus one. I don't know if centre-backs or defenders is a bit different. And three, if they make five appearances at the tournament, I don't think it matters if it's bench, 90 minutes, etc. They get another one. So some of these cards could get a plus two. So Van Dyke, the only one here who could get to a 99. So we could have a 99 Virgil Van Dyke based on this promo. Um, some pretty crazy cards. Honestly, on paper, though, these don't look better than Path to Glory, necessarily. I mean, some of them are getting four play styles, but I don't even know if this is a better promo than Path to Glory. So, let's get into it. There we go. So, where are we? Grove. We're going to look at him first. Okay. Where is he? Do, do, do. I will skip for a few of these, because I have looked at them a bit more already, but... Um, dead ball, whip pass, incisive pass, five star weak foot. Some pretty good play styles. Um, whip pass, incisive pass are good, but whip pass is a bit useless on him. He plays right back though. Um, five star weak foot. He could actually be a really good right back. So I'm going to put him as an A for right back. Sanchez. Jockey and whip pass are great. Long throw, I don't think it's that important. Solid enough card though. Bah. Watch this text. Let's see what she's saying. Uh, fifty-seven thousand coins. Um, not a terrible price. Some of these cards, considering how good they'll be already. Anticipating rapids, pretty nice. Passing's a bit bad at this point. Again, defending is okay. Dribbling's a bit low. I'm gonna go CT. I don't think he's that special. This point. Test. Okay, here we are with Bosnik. Are you sick to death of getting out teamed on FC24? Want that God squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out IGGM.com today. The best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team. Use the link in the description and code ZELL at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out IGGM.com today. This card has literally the perfect play styles. Those are my three favourite play style pluses for a striker. And with a Hawk, he's got near 99 shooting pace, good on the ball, and basically 99 physical, 6 foot 2. The thing is, he's probably, he might get, I don't know if he'll play or not, he'll probably get that, I'd imagine. Um, doubt Slovakia are going to score a lot of goals, so who knows. But this card could stay how it is, but it's fairly cheap. for. It's obviously just got no, um, what you call it, 5 star. I'm going to also put him A. He's basically near perfect in a lot of ways other than no five star, but he's that good elsewhere with the chem style. But I'm basing these on how they are now, are now not how they are before um, a potential upgrade. Um, this card looks all right. B tier. Note as well with these cards that these are cards bait that are players who've never played at this tournament before. Couldn't believe Van Dijk had never played it, but I think from memory... Van Dyke was injured at the last one, that so couldn't compete. No, Holland didn't make the last one, sorry. And then I don't know if he was even in the setup around the time for. I'd assume he probably would have been from Southampton, but I'm not sure. Eight years ago, this card three brilliant play styles for a left back. I don't know if he's going to get games at Germany though. Just being honest, um, he's amazing on the ball. It's probably like an A tier player, but I'm not sure about the upgrades. Lenormand, I got him years ago on a football manager save. He was very good. Fun fact for you. Anticipate, 99 pace, effectively good on the ball. Near 99 defender with shadow. Great passing that out holes there. 6 2. I'm going S tier. That card's basically perfect. Bar being a bit bigger, having error, but for this type of promo, I'm going to put him S tier. McTominay, pretty decent to be fair. No five star, it's a shame, but he's very tall. I mean, aerial and 6'4 with 99 
pace at 99 jumping. This card's very good aerial threat. Pinged pass. Pretty solid card. He'll definitely play for Scotland. Doubt we'll get the five appearances there. Weston McKenney could be coming to my club, Aston Villa. Um, we'll put, probably put an anchor on him. Near 99 defending, pace, physical, passing's good. Don't know why he's got five star skills over um, that, but yeah, this card's really good. I'm not just saying it because I think he might be going to Aston Villa, but he's got some really good player styles. These cards are actually a bit better than all of the Path to Glory compared to what I thought. Two Shemeni's going to be insane. He will start. Um, he will. I don't know if he'll get that upgrade. I expect him to get five appearances though. Um, so I expect him to be at least a 96. I'm going to go S tier again. This card will be insane. I used his gold at the start of the game and he was so good. He has a perfect body type in game for that type of role. He'll be one of the best like defense minded midfielders in the game. Rapid, finesse, first touch. Not a bad combo. Five star weak foot. He's better than these guys, but I am going to move some of these down to be fair. Um, very good card. Sosa. I think he's a left back. On Sosa. I swear he's been around crash setup for a while. Maybe he's been injured at previous one. Six foot two. It's pretty nice. Very good fullback. Play styles as well. Very nice. That's a very good card. Ugarte from PSG. Don't like Bruiser, but intercepting sides pass are good enough. Five stars a shame. Can't really shoot. Not the tours. I'm going to put him B to. I think he's, he's good though. Martinelli. High rain, but... Um, no four play styles on those. I'm surprised how hard that high rain on them gone. Quick step plus would have been really nice on him. No five star weak foot. But his stats are that insane. Like you put a dead eye on him, he's got near 99 across most of these stats. I'm gonna have him S tier, bottom end though. Johnston, Canadian. You can have a Canadian right back and left back. I mean 99 physical. Near 99 defending pace, good passing, good on the ball, 4-4, four, four. probably an A-tier. Actually seen some players I've never heard of before, not going to lie. Anticipate, got 99 pace with the shadow. You have to put the chem styles on, um, assuming you're going to get these players on full, because that's how good they can be. Six foot one, he has Anticipate. Other player styles are okay. Looks pretty damn good. I'm going to put him probably A tier. He's a high rated as it is, to be fair, but you just could do with being a bit taller. Illich, pretty meh play styles. Very good pace, though. Passing's great. I'm going to put him high B tier. I may be being a bit harsh on some of these cards. Maybe if I really analyse them, I might be changing it, but. This card, really good mix of play styles for full. I mean, he may as well have three, though. Flair's a bit like whatever. 4-4's four, pretty great, though. Bottom end S tier. No idea if he's getting any game time at um, Brazil. I would assume not. Kirio, really good defensive fullback. Can he play centre back? Yes, he can. Okay, so six foot two at centre back. 99 pace. He's unreal on the ball for a centre back. Physicality defending. He's cheap as well. 199,000. He will play, so he'll get the chemistry boost. Links to all the Arsenal players. Uh, anticipate. I mean, relentless and whip pass, to be fair, are a bit of a way, so I'm going to put him lower end. Play styles are that important, and he only has one play style, plus that's that important at centre back. But having that stamina, that good on the ball, he will be insane, and he does have the best. Um, Defensive play style, to be fair. Mika Taudzi. I don't know if that's right. Altolzi. 5'10 aerials. Irrelevant. Press proven. Decent. Uh, Hawk on him makes his shot basically 99 in his pace. He's passing solid. Um, I'm going to put him like B tier. Um, these cards, like they're good. But no 5 star attack instantly massively changes a card at this point in the game. Yeah, card's solid. There's just so many good stats on these cards now. I have to be really harsh. Dragasin, Spurs player. He has dead ball. 
How does he have... That's got to be a dead ball, but he has 51 free kicks. What is the point? That has to be a mistake. That uh, I'd be interested to see what his free kicks like. Benjamin Sesco, I'd like to see him give him a five-star week for... He's a very popular player in world football right now, linked to a lot of top clubs. I know he has signed a new deal with Leipzig, but it would have been cool to see him um, get a five-star week for. If he'd have had a five-star week for, I think this card honestly could have cost a lot. Aerial, though, at six foot four, nine, nine, jumping, heading's great. Finesse, technical. He is going to go high A tier for me. Even though this card has better stats, um, play style, sorry, this guy at six four with Aerial is amazing for it in terms of that. He's going to be lots of goals and corners. And he's got finesse as well. Carlo Moane, 96. Wow, I'm going to have to put him S tier. Don't know how much time he plays for France. Um, but the card's pretty crazy. Mudrick. This card's pretty decent value, man. 5-5. Five, five. To be fair, the play styles, they're good, but not insane. Um, you put like a marksman on him, though. Dribbling's basically maxed out. His pace is maxed out. His shot's great. His passing's good. 5-5. Five, five. What's not to like? Put this card a bit lower down, by the way. Alistair, pretty high rated. Pretty sure he starts for Argentina. Uh, really nice mix of uh, stuff for a midfielder. Five star week for he's a really top tier midfielder to be honest. DeMarco, he already had a pretty good tots to be fair to him. Great play styles. He gets the upgrade. I don't know who starts at left back for Italy. If he gets the upgrade, then it'll be 99 pace anyway. Bottom end S tier. This play promo is better than I first thought. I didn't realise the cards are quite as good as the other. A lot of them are a bit higher rated as well than some of the ones. Van Dijk, obviously going to be the best card in this one. He's probably the best centre-back in the game. Shame he didn't get aerial, though. Nico Williams, really um, come on in the last few years. Pretty great card. Five-star weak foot. I'm going to go bottom end S tier. If it weren't for the five-star weak foot, he wouldn't be there. And his play styles aren't great, but the rest of the stuff's really good. Cole Palmer, he'll at least come off the bench, I imagine, for England. Finesse, technical, very nice. Power shots, whatever. Dead ball. It's okay. I'll have a mess too. 5-5 five, five on itself. It's pretty crazy. Rafael Leao is at 5-5. Five, five. Should have been 5-5. Five, five. Um, what are these play styles? He'll be insane because Leao is just that good. Good, He's that guy on this game, but could have been even better card. He could have been the best tackler in the game if he'd got the play styles he deserves. Two great play styles in technical and rapid, but rapid ain't that great in midfield. Um, to be fair, this guy's more of an attacker in than a midfielder on the game, even though he can. Um, an attacking centre mid, I'd have him S tier. Um, as an attacker, he's probably low S tier. But um, yeah, some really good cards. Like I say, underestimated at first. I do appreciate you all tuning in. Let me know what you think of this promo. I think it's going to be a two week promo from what I gather. As always, I do appreciate you all. Keep it spicy. Hope to see you on the next one. Peace.